Good. Good evening, guys. Apologies for the delay. We'll take questions from English-speaking media first, and then Spanish-speaking media after that. Please raise your hand to let us know if you'd like to ask a question. We'll come to as many of you as possible. So, where to start, please? Anyone? Simon? Just, have we got microphones? No? I cannot, I cannot hear you. Uh, well, no, of course, we, we, yeah, we have the experience of last year, but uh, we don't think much on that, to be fair. We, we know that we're going to face uh, different Real Madrid. Uh, like they, they play different, and every season is, is different. Uh, I think we, we came... We came here with uh, one of the best uh, shapes right now of ourselves in the in the season. So um, yeah, uh, I think we're gonna face always the the favourites in this competition. Uh, we already know each other quite well, to be fair, the last years, uh, and we expect uh, such such a tough game tomorrow. Just here in the corner. Thank you, Richard. Hi, Rodri. Um, Real Madrid have had a week off because they didn't play any football in the week because of the Copa del Rey final. You guys are in a title race. Do you think that that rest is an advantage to them or do you guys like to be focused every three days playing? Well, I'll tell you tomorrow what well, well, the result is. Of course, uh, we're involved in, a, in the Premier League uh, fight and this makes you play every three days and play with everything and not rest. Uh, and they have... Yeah, I think because they, they have the final of the Copa del Rey, they, they could rest a little bit more. And yeah, it's something that maybe they have a bit advantage in this sense. Uh, let's see how the team responds tomorrow physically. But uh, it's something that we are not worried because uh, we have the experience of other years and this team has been playing this kind of a stages with the same rhythm of games the last year. So, uh, of course, we would like to rest uh, like them, but uh, it's something that doesn't uh, worry us. David? Hi, Rodri. Um, you said it would be a different Real Madrid and they're playing a different way. One of the big differences will be uh, Jude Bellingham. Uh, how impressed have you been with the way he has adapted uh, and been such a success in his first season here at Real Madrid? Well, uh, I think, uh, I said, we face a different Real Madrid because I think they play different. I think they, they don't play in the same way. I think they control more the games. They have more midfielders. Uh, and different kind of, of playing. Uh, of course, uh, we expect, uh, like always, so, so tough here in Bernabeu. Uh, we know that uh, whatever happened uh, never is going to be finished, even though the things go good or bad tomorrow. We know we have the, the second leg. Uh, and yeah, of course, about youth, uh, we already know particularly because we face them lots of times against Dortmund. We know the, the type of player he is, uh, so powerful, so strength with ability of going and arriving in the second line and controlling the game. So, yeah, we, we already know, but I don't like focusing just on one player. I think they have enormous potential in all the lines. And, yeah, what I can say is uh, what we know is they play kind of different. They have more control of the game with this kind of players, and we have to adapt ourselves to that. Ben? Hi, Rodri. Um, obviously, a lot was made of your loss here two seasons ago and you righted some of the wrongs last season. Is that how it felt from a squad? Because I remember you talking and players talking about that specific defeat here as being something quite traumatic that you had to process. And then last season, by beating Real Madrid so convincingly, did you prove to yourselves and everyone else that you can be the best team in the world? I think we, we, we prove ourselves every time we play against them, to be fair. I mean, this is the fourth time? Fourth time against them? Yeah, fourth time. Uh, and in all of them, we have great results. Uh, the, the one you talk about uh, uh, when we didn't go through in semi finals, we all know what happened, it was about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and it's something that happened in football. We don't. We didn't think much about that last year, and this is why we play with the desire, you know, with the with the fire inside that we want to to win it again for what happened. Uh, but uh, to be fair, now we we have we are more mature team. We have the experience of winning this competition, and we came here with a different mentality, with more composure. And to be fair, uh, we know that. Uh, nothing is going to be done uh, tomorrow. We need to have a good result, to be fair, because uh, we know how tough it is here in Bernabeu. 
but uh, I see the team more mature. I, I, I wish, uh, I hope that uh, the experience of winning this tournament give us tomorrow the confidence to do the, the things right. Fred, on this side, please, Roger. Hi, uh, Rodri. Um, you, just, you just mentioned the experience of winning the competition. What do you think is the difference when you visit the king of the Champions League when you are the ones wearing the crown? Well, as I said, uh, Jopan, I think um, it gives you a little bit more of, uh, I don't know how to say in English, composure, uh, serenity on the, on the pitch. Um, and you learn, of course, we learn from the, from the past, we learn from when we lose and also when you win. Uh, and I, I think having both experience in overall, uh, I think we are a completely more mature team than uh, the first time we, we faced them, I remember, here in Bernabeu. So, uh, it gives us confidence. Uh, we cannot confuse ourselves. We need to bring the best of ourselves if we want to compete against this team because they're always favorite in, in, in this competition and more here uh, at home. Uh, but we know them very, quite well, how we have to fight them and how we have to play against them. And, uh, and it's something that, as I tell you, we, we've been learning from the past. Ian? Rodri, hello. We're looking at two managers who've had the most wins in the history of the Champions League, two elite managers, as far as Pep Guardiola is concerned, what makes him stand out, in your opinion? Give us a bit of insight as to his special qualities. Of oh, Pep? <sighs> what can I say about Pep? I mean, um, I think you watch it, right? The last years, uh, yeah, you're talking about maybe the, more, the two more success uh, coaches uh, in the history of the of this tournament of the Champions League, uh, Ancelotti and Pep. I think uh, both with the with their own style, but uh, two winners in their own in their own way. Uh, and what I can say about my manager is our leader in in this sense. And tomorrow, like always, we will need the best of him to bring up to the team in terms of the speech, in terms of tactics, in terms of energy, positive energy for us uh, is uh, of course. Um, more, very, very important, and every year uh, it never goes down. You know the importance of this of this manager for us. One last question in English for Paul, please. Just on this side, please, Roger. Yeah. Hey, Roger. It was um, this time last season the quarterfinals, the semi-finals, where City started hitting your kind of top level in terms of performances. How close do you think you are as a team to that level now this year? Well, I think to be fair, the last two games we had in Premier League, we show quite a big uh, increase in grid, uh, on the performance and on scoring goals. That was, I think, something, a task we have uh, so far the last month. We didn't score much goals and now we are arriving with a lot of players in the box and I think we're showing the, the best shape. Of course, we all know we have uh, downs, we have injuries, uh, important players out and uh, it's going to be important. But in the same way, I'm so confident about uh, the team is going to play tomorrow, about my teammates, uh, because all of them, they're top level players. Uh, and if I will ask something to my teammates tomorrow, is uh, apart from giving everything, is to play, as I said before, with the serenity and composure uh, that we are the winners and that we want to do it again. And we, have n we cannot confuse ourselves. We have to give the best of, of ourselves and be humble enough to know that we came to the champions, uh, the 14 <laughs> champions of, of this um, competition. So we have to be humble enough to know that we have to run more, do more and play better than, than them tomorrow. OK, we're we'll moving some questions from Spanish media. Sí. ¿Qué tal, Rodríguez Melchor Ruiz, Cadena Cope? Eh, dices que el Real Madrid es favorito por la historia de la Champions y por jugar en el Bernabéu, aunque las apuestas dicen que el City lo es, es el vigente campeón. Eh, además, jugáis fue el segundo partido en casa. Eh, y estás hablando de un Real Madrid que es diferente al del año pasado, por la forma de jugar eh, y el centro del, del campo puede ser la clave del partido. ¿Vosotros os gusta tener el balón? Eh, ¿La mejor forma de defenderse ante un Real Madrid que va a intentar presionaros y, y, y meter una velocidad muy rápida es tener el balón y dominar esa parte de la ancha? Sí, está claro. Evidentemente que ellos han cambiado la manera de jugar, pero es verdad que la esencia no. Yo creo que el Real Madrid... Eh cómo plantea los partidos al final, tiene jugadores eh, muy verticales que te hacen mucho daño al contragolpe y bueno, es verdad que ahora tienen mucho más control de partido que antes porque acumulan un jugador más por dentro, eh, pero no, no les resta llegada eso, de, al final con, con, como decíamos, con Jude, con Vinicius, Rodrigo, son jugadores que, que aparecen mucho en, 
en esas zonas últimas del campo, son, son jugadores con mucho recorrido, por lo tanto tenemos que estar pendientes, pero sí, evidentemente una de estas bazas mañana, como siempre es eh, dominar a nuestro rival con, con el balón y sobre todo tener personalidad, yo lo que pediría a mis compañeros mañana es tener personalidad para jugar, como siempre lo hemos hecho en este estadio, si queremos sacar un, un resultado positivo. Por aquí Rodri, Luis Cobos para OK Diario. Quería preguntarte por Vinicius. Eh, mañana está percibido, eh, no sé si vais a intentar buscar esa, esa tarjeta y sobre todo cómo ves el peligro por, por la banda de, del jugador brasileño. Gracias. Bueno, no... Eso es una información que se nos suele dar antes del partido, quién tiene tarjetas o quién no. Al final no, no nos preocupa mucho, evidentemente que es un jugador importante. Eh, pero nosotros nos centramos en lo nuestro, en lo que vamos a hacer en el campo, en, en la manera que queremos de jugar y, y no tanto en si el resto está percibido o no. ¿Qué tal, Rodri? Marcelo Doval, de Dosis Futbolera. Hace unos días atrás se conocieron unas declaraciones tuyas en las que hablabas de las diferencias entre la Liga y la Premier y hablabas de que a veces te parecían dos deportes diferentes. ¿Mañana crees que se va a jugar al mismo deporte que el Madrid es el equipo que más se parece a un equipo Premier? Buena pregunta. Creo que no me la han hecho todavía. Eh, sí, está claro. Yo siempre dije, di mis motivos por qué, por qué las ligas son diferentes y por qué hay que adaptarse a cada una. Cuando llega una competición europea como la Champions League, donde estilos diferentes, eh, ritmos diferentes se juntan, eh, se genera una gran complejidad para los dos equipos, tanto para nosotros, para jugar con un equipo contra el que no estamos acostumbrados, como ellos, ¿no? Y cada uno con sus virtudes, siempre lo digo. Ellos tienen muchas virtudes, es el Real Madrid, es un, probablemente el equipo más en forma en la Liga Española en los últimos años en Europa. Y, bueno, la parte positiva te diría que nos conocemos ya bastante, ¿no? Somos, un, somos enfrentado cuatro veces en los últimos cinco años y sí que creo que nos conocemos, así que esa parte creo que eh, no será tan, tan diferencial. Hola, Rodri, buenas tardes. Miguel Ángel Lara de Marca. Siempre has dicho que te fijas mucho en los partidos, en correcciones, en ver vídeos. Te quería preguntar cuánto te fijas y qué supone esa posición Tony Cross. Gracias. Bueno, me gusta ver fútbol, me gusta en general ver a los grandes jugadores como, como Cross, evidentemente. Bueno, siendo consciente de que quizás no es el mismo perfil de jugador que soy yo, eh, aunque ocupe la misma demarcación, pero sí que evidentemente es un jugador a tener mucho en cuenta porque realmente es el, digámoslo, el metrónomo, ¿no? el, el que lleva un poco la, el ritmo de partido que quiere jugar el Real Madrid. Y, y bueno, sobre todo ser consciente de las zonas donde les gusta participar, eh, cuáles son sus puntos fuertes, eh, bueno, saber qué mueve el equipo de lado a lado y estar cerca de él para, para que así no sea. Yo creo que el, que el Madrid depende mucho del fútbol, mucho fútbol pasa por sus botas y... Y como siempre digo, jugadores como, como Tony no hay, no hay muchos en el mundo que tengan esa capacidad de, de llevar el tempo de un partido. Por eso, por eso siempre es un jugador a tener en cuenta. ¿no? Hola, ¿qué tal, Rodri? Buenas tardes, Javier Herrera de la Academia SER. Quiero preguntarte si crees que ese pique sano deportivo, por ejemplo, cuando vimos la foto de Guardiola con, con gente con la mano así, con cuatro goles, ¿crees que eso en un vestuario... ¿Tú crees que futbolista les pica o te puede picar en caso contrario? ¿Crees que pica que ese otro fútbol también juega en estos partidos grandes? Bueno, yo creo que todo lo que se vea en, en la deportividad sana, siempre respetando al rival. Yo siempre lo digo, al final en el fútbol eh, respeta al rival porque <ríe> siempre se sabe, ¿no? Eh, siempre que se haga con respeto, al final eh, las rivalidades son buenas, eh, ya lo sabemos. Y, y bueno, evidentemente que veníamos de, de un año complicado con esa eliminación y bueno, resarcirnos de esa manera fue, fue muy bonito eh, por, el, por el hecho también de que el club consiguió su primera Champions y bueno, ahora reset completamente, ahora nuevamente otra batalla y, y esperemos que, que tenga el mismo final. Gracias.